What's up, Technobo here for Silver Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Ultimate Kids. Ultimate Kits is a simple plugin that lets you easily create and display server kits using a simple GUI. The Ultimate plugins install a little differently to the usual. Head over to the Songoda page for Ultimate Kits. Click the download button right under the project icon on the left. Then head over to the file section on your Server Pro dashboard. Open the plugins folder and then click the upload button. Then simply select the jar file that we downloaded from Songoda and click upload. Then all we need to do is a simple server restart. Note that the plugin also requires the Vault plugin to already be installed, as well as an economy plugin of your choice. I'll be using Sane Economy. The Holographic Displays plugin is optional. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. The plugin's main command is slash UK, Ultimate Kits, or slash Kit Admin. This brings up the command reference where we see all of the commands for the plugin. Using slash kits or kit brings up a GUI where players can preview and buy kits. Simply click on a kit to preview it and see the items inside. Then we can head back and right click the kit to obtain it. After claiming, we get the items immediately and if we try to claim again, we'll get a cooldown message in chat. We were able to get these items for free as the demo kits are priced at zero. I'll quickly use the plugin's in-game config menu, which we'll see again later in this video. Slash UK settings. Then I'll open up the kits file, expand the kits section. Inside of here, I'll pick a kit. I'll choose tools this time, as the first one is still under cooldown. Then we'll click on the price option and enter a price in chat, 500. Now, spamming escape to close out of the menu, the config has been saved. Running slash eco admin set techno 1000 will set our balance to 1000 in game dollars. Then I'll run slash kits and I'll claim the third kit over here, tools, which now costs 500. I'll right click on it and we receive some stone tools and we're charged 500. It's that simple. Now let's get to creating a kit. I'll create one called test slash kit admin create kit test. As you can see, our inventory is empty, but we can bring it back by clicking the switch to your inventory button over here. Now we can simply move items in and out of the kit as such. It's that simple. Clicking on the page, we can toggle item editing mode. Then we can hover over an item and we can see how we can interact with it. We can set the display item, which doesn't change the item itself, but changes its appearance, change the name, lore, and chance. Turning it off, now we can click the same inventory button that we clicked before, which will take us to kit functions. Under general, we can set a delay, category, and delete the kit. Heading back, we have selling options as well. This lets us toggle whether it's enabled, set a link for the kit that's clickable in text chat, and set a kit price. We'll head back and then open up the GUI options. This lets us set a title, set a category, and toggle whether the kit is visible in the GUI. Let's set the item here to an item that we're holding. So grabbing myself a block, I'll go ahead and run slash kit admin edit, followed by a kit name, as we already created the kit and the GUI was closed. I'll change back to the options menu, GUI options, and then click the set display item. Now it's been set to a gold block. Heading back, we can add a command to run when the kit is claimed. To demonstrate this, I'll simply enter the command smite techno, which will hit me with a bolt of lightning, part of the essentials plugin. Then we have an add economy button, which allows the kit to give users currency when they claim the kit. And finally, we have kit animation. This lets us toggle roulette mode. It disables grabbing all of the items when the kit is claimed and instead picks a random item out of the group, depending on the item's chance. Again, we can set the chance by going into item editing, hovering over an item, and then shift clicking to set a chance. Simply shift clicking will raise the chance by 10%. Now we can go ahead and close the create screen or edit screen. Now we've successfully made a kit. Let's go ahead and claim it. Slash kits, and I'll click the gold block, which was our kit. Preview, back, and I'll right click it to claim all the items inside of it. It's that simple. Now that we've successfully claimed the kit, let's go ahead and do something more interesting. I'll go ahead and grab myself a chest and I'll place it down in the world. Let's make a kit chest. I'll simply run slash kit admin set, followed by a name of a kit, test. Now if we right click the chest, we'll get a preview for the kit. Why? Well, this is simply a preview chest. We can go ahead and open it directly by using a key. Keys are basically single-use free passes to claiming a kit from physical boxes. I'll run slash kit admin key followed by a name of a kit. Test. Then I'll follow it with a rarity. I'll just use regular followed by a player's name, techno. Now we've given ourselves a test key for the test kit. I'll simply right-click on the box and we claim the kit. I've been smitten 
and we get the items as expected. Now let's do something a bit more interesting. Let's shift right click on the chest and we get another GUI where we can customize the chest and its appearance. We can change the type from preview to create or claim, change the decor options, which allows us to toggle holograms and toggle particles, which I'll both enable. Then we can also toggle whether items are displayed when previewing the chest and toggle whether custom display items will be overridden when the chest is being previewed. Closing out of the menu, you can now see a hologram provided by the hologram plugin and a particle effect around the box. Shift right clicking the box once again, the final option is edit kit, which allows us to edit the kit directly instead of typing in the command. Let's go ahead and have another look at the in-game settings GUI slash UK settings to bring up the in-game settings GUI. As with the ultimate plugins, almost everything is easily customizable through the in-game GUI. We have a set of books which represent different files. Once a file is opened, we see a whole bunch of different sections from inside the file and inside of each section, we have a whole bunch of settings and toggles. Simply clicking on these settings either toggles them or asks you for input in the text chat. Because there are a lot of settings here, I'll be going through what each of these do in the next section where we edit the config directly from the plugins files. When we do do that, we simply run slash UK reload to reload the plugin settings from the config files. Locate the config in the plugins folder. The locales folder contains different language files that are just plain text. These allow for localization of the plugin. The category.yml file and kit.yml file both contains settings for categories and kits. These are populated and easily edited through the in-game GUI. Those files are similar to the ultimate kits DB file, which contains settings and other plugin data that is not meant to be edited by the user. It's managed by the plugin. The data.yml file is more similar to the database file, where it contains data that is not meant to be edited by the user. Keys.yml lets us change the number of kits received from a single key use, whether the kit appears as enchanted, and more. Crates.yml is almost exactly the same, but it lets us customize crates based on rarity we assign them. Then, config.yml contains all of the customizable settings for the plugin. As with all Ultimate plugins, it's incredibly well documented where each setting has an explanation above it. The file is divided into five sections. Main on line 4, Interfaces on line 39, System on line 58, MySQL on line 64, and finally Data on line 81. The main section at the top contains general settings of the plugin. The hologram layout lets us customize how holograms appear above boxes in-game using placeholders, whether players can redeem with a full inventory, and whether we see chance in the preview. Key material lets us change the key item that's displayed in-game. Interfaces lets us customize the in-game GUI. System lets you change the plugin's language. MySQL lets you link the plugin to a MySQL server to hold data instead of inside of the DB file over here. Server Pro provides you with a MySQL database on our Pro plans. And finally, the data section. This is just a setting on what and how many particles appear. Anyways, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!